welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I am Katie and this is our Missouri Life. I am going to do a review today on the Lange products that I've been using. If the lighting's weird in here, guys let me know because I feel like I'm making it worse every time I move and I have ants in my pants today. So here we are. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna do a review on some of the Lange products that I've been using. I am not sponsored by Lange. I bought all these with my own money. That's where we are with that stuff. So. I am gonna link down below. I think I found two coupon codes last night, so I'm gonna link them down below. So check down there to see what I've got linked down there for you. Um, it, usually what they do is if you spend so much money, then you get like free products. So I think the ones that I saw are pretty good free products. So check that out if you're gonna to wanna to try some launch stuff out, I would highly recommend doing it. That's how I do it. I always go out and find a code. And after you buy so much of it, they will send you codes in your emails. They will send you links to like free products. All you have to do is pay shipping. So I've done that a couple of times with stuff, um, especially on a couple of my ride or die products. And I'll share those that I have bought numerous times at this point. So let's get started. <clears throat> so the first, I'm going to start in order like how I use it on my hair. So I am in day two, actually, of my hair. I did stick some dry shampoo in it yesterday. I'm feeling I'm kind of greasy today, but... I don't think I am. I think I'm just being weird about it. I try to do no dry shampoo on day two, but if I do use it, I will use my Lange dry shampoo on day two. Day three and four, if I'm going to go that long, I use a different kind because I usually have like curled my hair or like kind of crimped it with my straightening iron. So I use them in different, just for different purposes. So anyway, first product is the Lange Extende Leave-In Fortifying Detangler. So this one is with Silk Proteins, Camomilla, Cinesis, Camilla, Cinesis, I don't know in aloe vera strengthen, strengthen, condition, and protect. So this is what this one looks like. And this one says, help hair reach new heights, new lengths, with its light leave-in conditioning spray designed to increase hair's elasticity and prevent breakage during styling. So that is why I bought it, because one, I thought it was gonna be detangling, and I want it to prevent breakage during styling. I have very thin hair, but I have a lot of thin hair. So I just try to take care of my hair and the older I'm getting, I'm getting ready to go into like the next decade almost. So I'm trying to really take care of more, like better care. I've always taken care of my skin, but of my hair, uh, I want to prevent any of that breakage. And especially now that we can't get to the hair salon and stuff, I feel like my hair is just disgusting at the end. So anything that I can do to prevent that. I will tell you this, I don't care for it for the detangling aspect. So I, don't think it detangles my hair at all. So when I get out of the shower, I, sorry, the front door is open and ladies barking at everything. Um, so when I get out of the shower, my hair, when it's wet, even if like I get into a pool, my hair is so dry when I get out of water because it's curly and it's just, I can't rip through it. I don't want to rip through my hair. So this I did not like because it did not detangle. Now I did get online last night and they do have like a leave-in conditioner. It is out of stock right now but I have it in my cart ready to go and you can hit them to email you a reminder for it when it comes back in stock. So I've got a couple of products on there that I want to try, but they're out of stock right now. So I don't like this one because I thought it was gonna be a detangler, but like I said, if it is preventing breakage during styling, I'll continue to use it, but I don't know if I would buy it again. So that's how I feel about the Extende Leave-In Fortifying Detangler. Don't really think it's a detangler. So the next product that I got and that I use like in order is the Lange Thermal Magic Heat and Humidity Tamer. So I really like this one. I don't really see any difference in my hair using it. Um, so this has keratin, chamomile, and burdock root extracts, thermal protection, and volume and light hold. So like I said, I have a little, I have a lot of thin hair, so it doesn't like to like volume up at all. So anything that I can use that will help with the volume, but the only other reason I got this was because I have a serum by Paul Mitchell that I use during the summer months. My hair gets so staticky in the summer. I swear by this Paul Mitchell stuff, but what I want to do in the summer is compare the two products. So I'm hoping in like mid July, I can get an actual like full force review. Cause by then it's hot and my hair has had enough, like it's staticky and I start using this stuff usually I feel like in May. So we are almost in May. Um, so I'm going to start using one one week and use one the next week to see kind of like which one works better if either of them work the same that kind of stuff but i that's why i got this one because it was the heat and humidity tamer so and like again if anything that can i can get to help with da heat and damage i mean i blow my hair i use a straightening iron on it <clears throat> like almost every day i use a straightening iron on my hair whether or not i blow dry my hair or not so that one i really do like so the next product that i use is 
fastly becoming a ride or die product. I really like this stuff. So this is the Lange Select Thicket Cream with a fusion of a coconut oil and a wheat amino acid. So this says it transforms ordinary hair into luxurious, thick, tousled, sensual looking hair. Gives it a lived in natural appearance with an unbelievable thickness, incredible definition and attitude. I love this stuff. Now, you only need a teeny, teeny, tiny bit of this stuff when you use it, like a tiny bit. I only put it up in like my roots up in here. I only put it up in there. I don't really need it anywhere else. Um, but the thing that I like about this is it doesn't make your hair feel any different really. It doesn't make it feel crunchy. I don't know if any of you have used like root lifters in the past or you know thickening creams. Sometimes it can be really gross on your hair. Like I just have not found one that doesn't make my hair feel different and like just hard. I don't know how to explain that. Like I just don't and I don't like that. I want my hair to feel natural. I want to be able to run my fingers through it but I still want it to have that lift. So I I like it. I like the thick cream. I think it works. I, like I said I really enjoy it. I don't it smells good. The only thing that's weird when you use it, so just be careful. So it has one of these tops on it. It gets thick in there. Like I'll use it like yesterday. Well, already it's got like a thick bubble blob in there. So you just have to be careful when you go to squirt it out the next day or whenever you're using it to, well, hi old man, um, to, <laughs> you coming out of hiding cause I'm in here. I think he was hiding from the other cat cause the other cat's being mean to him. Um, just be careful when you squirt it out that it doesn't like, poof, Or it just comes in here like he's gonna like pounce on him and I'm like no it's okay what you gonna lay down with mama you gonna lay down with mama art leave Kiki alone man he's on him poor cat okay anyway sorry my cat's gonna be in the video but here we are I can't sit down with jeans on very well okay you sit here with me okay so the next product I have is my ride or die pro like did I say product or project <laughs> The next product that I have is my Ride or Die 100%. I have used this product for almost a year now and I love it. I think I've bought three so far. It is the Salt and Sea Texturizing Spray. So like I said, my hair is fine. I want some texture in my hair. This stuff smells so good. It smells like the beach, Kiki. Mm, I just, I love this stuff. Like, I don't even care. It just, I love the way it smells. So it is with kelp. It has kelp extract and sea salt infused for volume and texture. Salt and Sea Texturizing Spray creates a beachy, windswept styles and adds body to fine hair with light hold. Adds volume and leaves hair feeling thicker and fuller and may be used on wet or dry hair. So, I do use this a couple different ways on wet and dry hair. So I will, in the morning, start with a detangler, move on to the heat and humidity tamer, and then put some thick cream in there. And then I use this. So I use this because I want down here to have texture and light hold. I don't want to weigh it down by putting thickening cream down on my bottom locks. I am trying to like locks like I'm Rapunzel no so I am trying to let my hair grow out even though we are in quarantine I'm still trying to grow my hair out <clears throat> so anything I can get light hold and texture down here I'm all about I will give it a try so this I will use also let's say like tomorrow because I'm on day two right now um so tomorrow what I would do is go in and I would spray it while it's dry let it dry on your hair don't like go to town on it but all you need to do is kind of that to it and just kind of move it around in there wait for it to kind of dry then go in with your straightening iron and curl your hair so i usually curl my hair with my straightening iron like day three day four um but i just take it in there go like this they'll last a whole nother day like my curls do not fall my, i don't know it just could be my hair too my curls usually don't fall i can usually curl my hair like today day two and i can let it go for two or three days so maybe it's just my hair maybe it's a product i don't know i think this has I think this has really helped my hair though um keep its curl and keep it so i don't have to wash it as much as i normally would have had to wash it and that's the other thing with these products i don't feel like they're wearing my hair down they're not making my hair greasy that i have to wash my hair i have in the past used different products that i feel like i've had to wash my hair because i'm like absolutely not get this stuff out of my hair but this stuff 100 percent ride or die i've bought three so far i will always buy them and i i know the size of the product sometimes i think freak people out it's only four ounces I'm not shy about using this thing I use this thing would anything that I want to use because I want it to work appropriately don't think oh my gosh I can only use a little bit because like I said they can be kind of expensive but if you find a coupon code or if you buy stuff enough they will give you free products 
that kind of stuff. So like I said, I am not affiliated in, in any way, shape or form. If I link anything down below, I will put a disclaimer with it and everything like that. I don't even know how their referral program works. I have no idea. So I just, I just use the products. I love them and I wanted to share them with you guys. So my second ride or die will always have it in my house. 100% into the third can, can of it also is the Deja Vu dry shampoo. I love this stuff. It is light. It is not like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain like what it does, but I love it. It smells great. It doesn't weigh your hair down. It doesn't like leave any weird film and residue in my hair. Even with having blonde hair, I feel like some, um, someone's coming in here with me for a timeout. So I don't feel like it, um, weighs your hair down, does anything like that. Like I said, I use a different dry shampoo on a different day for different reasons. This I use to control the oil. I will use this right after I blow dry my hair and get it all styled and everything just right up in here. Just so day two, I may not need to use any dry shampoo at all. So this one is the dry cleanser, texturizer, volumizing formula, thermal protectant, paraben and sulfate free. So technically you can probably put this in your hair before you start like styling your hair also. This dry shampoo is a must have between washes or just when you have don't have time for traditional shampoos. One use renews and revives, giving you fuller, more voluminous hair. Voluptuous hair. Voluptuous? I think that's what the word is. I don't know. But these two things, 100%, my rider dies. I will continue to buy them as long as they are selling them. These will be in my, in my bathroom. The Select Thicket Cream, we're right up there. Like, that one is 100%. So, last time I did an order, when I bought the Detangler and the Heat Humidity Tamer, these two, um, I had a coupon code for a free straighten iron. You just had to spend like $35 and then you got a free straighten iron. So I was like, cool, whatever. I needed a new one anyway because it's a long story. But so I got the Lange Appletar, Appletar um, straighten iron in the blush rose color. I love this. This is made with 100% tourmaline infused ceramic plates negative ion and far infrared technology to seal the hair cuticle for a smooth, frizz-free and glossy finish that lasts for days. Um, ultra smooth floating plates for less pass and snag free styling. Ding, that's what got me. I hate straightening irons that snag your hair. It hurts and it's not cool. So this is the straightening iron. This is the size of it. I love it. I just like the little plates. I don't like things with big plates on them. Um, I like this because it doesn't get super hot right here and I can get really close in here. So like this part right here, I have not straightened my hair at all day. Um, I can get in here really close on this and straighten that out and not burn my forehead. And I'm not burning my hair, I feel like. So that's what I like about this. You can control the temperature. So it's got an off, on and off switch right here. And then it's got a dial right here that you can control the temperature. So it starts at 140 and goes up to 450. Um, I will adjust my hot, like between like sections of my hair, depending on where I'm at. Like if I'm in the front, I'm gonna have it a little bit lower than I do when I have it in the back because it's just thicker. But um, I really, really like this. It does not snag my hair. That's my one thing. I had straighten iron that I bought two times ago because I've gone through a couple because I don't like that. Um, so I got rid of that one, got another one, didn't like that one. And then I bought one at TJ Maxx just for when I traveled and ended up really liking that one, but it doesn't have an adjustment on it for like heat, it just turns on. So I was like, eh, I don't know about that one. So this opportunity popped up, so I feel, felt like, you know what, I'm gonna do it. So I do like also how this is like rotatable because a lot of the times that's where I feel like all of our um, cords break is right down here at the bottom. So I really like that, it's a really thick cord. There's also a tie up here so that you can wrap it around, it's just Velcro. If you want to store it that way, I store mine just in my, hi, what are you doing? What happened? Do I want to know? Usually if she comes in like this and tells me something, someone's done something. I really like this um, straightening iron. I have not tried any of their other like styling tools yet. I have the hair blow dryer. I don't want the compact one. I want the, the real, the like bigger hair blow dryer. The compact one they've got on there, I think it's on sale right now for like $89. The other one was on sale for $99. I want to try that one out, but it's not in stock, and I want the pink one. So, I wait for that to come in stock, because I've heard that that one actually blow dries your hair faster. So, I am all about speed 
in my life. So I just did a review, and I'll link the card up here above, um, of the Revlon One Step Volumizer Hair Blow Dryer. And I really like it, but I don't want to have to use it every day. I still have my Rusk hair dryer that I have, so but I want to try something else to see if I can get it done a little bit faster with just not a ton of heat. I don't want to, like I said, damage my hair any more than I have to. So that is my review on the few launch products that I have. If you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Like I said, I am going to do another review in the summer and compare the Thermal Heat Magic to my Paul Mitchell Serum stuff that I've got that I use um, to control the static that I get in the summer. I mean, it's bad. It's bad to the point where I can't even keep my hair down because it's like, it's not even worth it because it's like, pff, it's out here. So, isn't this the cutest cup? I love flamingos. I got it at the Dollar Tree. Um, anyway, I'm going to do another review and if I get any more products, I will let you guys know. I'm, I like to try things out for like 30, 60 days before I do a review on them just to see if I like really like them or if it's just a fluke and I just didn't know what I was doing. Cause like I used that Revlon hair blow dryer for a couple days before I actually like taped a review cause I wanted to make sure that I was using it correctly. I don't read directions kind of thing. So that's that. So, if you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell down below to be reminded every time I do upload a new video. Thanks, guys. Bye.